Man, those Mobius mooks. They make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Meme? What's up, Manena? Then, Onoa and Mio and friends, super villain pon. You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them super villain pon i mean it's not like we ever had a choice or anything it was them or us so when no choice not fall under definition then none of us ever fought because we wanted to it's just how it worked how people worked and the world so world is super villain pon huh since it make everyone do nasty things world is bad guy the world is... bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is... suicide. So what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution, then, is to erase the self. To die. See? Pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say bit dim tonight, or... Looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Uroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become supervillains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Let's make our mark. Be at rest. Hey, you sure we're going the right way, guys? Mmm, well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's gonna be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. What? 
What the? An ambush? Ah! Weapons! Quick!
We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper! Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. What was all that about? Weirdos. Noah? What's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but... Something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once I was like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. No. You know how folks are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. Is that...? Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so-and-so sliding down here on a rope. I wonder if they could teach me to do that. A 
taste of real human connection. Is that what I think it is? I can't even call this practice. It has to be done. We have it! Have the power, give me a... Come here! No good! I'm gonna stop you, Toya! Passing time. Sidewinder! Leave the enemies to me! Smooth as always, Noah! Whatever happened to not being careless? Huh. I can't even call this practice. They seem a little easy. Never the power. I'll draw them. Perfect time. Perfect timing. Huh. Might as well claim this. This is crazy. There was a colony here? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh... Thank you. Please, come in. They're still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. We have some new names registered. New allied colony data. Not a lot of people around. Yeah. It's quite unlike any other colony. We have some new names registered. We have some new names registered. Even for a place this tumble down, the people here seem so resigned. Yeah, it feels like it's completely cut off from the outside world. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality. But I never expected it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, 
We should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait. Are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Huh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh, yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul really visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. <sighs> it's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die! Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the Earth. <sighs> yes, but... You can't just... The land will take us. And we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us, and yet here we are. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. We'll join you. We have some new names registered. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper, what are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go. We have some new names registered. Fire! 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 Fire!
Chain attack! Bring it on! 
Guillaume's okay. He's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away, I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah, your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy, far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If there is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. Here we go! I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? And what do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony gonna be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Town needs to undergo change, too. 
We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip, somewhere far away, and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your consul really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You'd think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're right. Time to move, then. Well, then, everyone? Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go then, skedaddle! The Colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. Thank <laughs> you.